Well, we try again. Good morning. I recorded the whole video at 4 o'clock, only to realize when I'm all finished recording that there was no sound. And I couldn't figure it out. Couldn't figure it out. I changed some wiring yesterday because I moved my speakers to a higher location. And um, I apparently I plugged the speakers into the wrong thing. I didn't, I, I didn't realize that there's two little slots on the side of my laptop. And you're supposed to plug it in the one in the front. And I had it plugged in the one in the back. And it took me, it took me a while to figure it out. So I've got to record the video again, which will not be the same as what I just recorded, but I couldn't even hear myself. <laughs> the title for the video is, I Wish People Would Stop Bashing Others Over Religion. One of my good friends that I have known for years sent me an article Tuesday about the Muslim problem we have in America. Perhaps it's worldwide since that is the line propagated by our divide-and-conquer media that is controlled by the criminal cabal. Folks, get it straight. I love honest and sincere people, and their religion has nothing to do with it. I have seen good and bad behavior by people in all religions. I want to do my best to support those who have good intentions, especially if they operate lovingly and peacefully. Of course, good people would not conduct themselves any other way. I know wonderful people who are Muslim, Jewish, Hindu, Buddhist, Christian, and even atheist. A person's character is not determined by a label he or she wears, but by their conduct and interacting, especially with those who have another label. Love one another is the great commandment, and those who cannot do this deceive themselves. Our love for God is not a religious trait, but a human characteristic of truly spiritual individuals. Again, I couldn't believe when I got that email from my friend, and I've known him for years. He's probably a little bit older than I am, and he's had a lot of health challenges, to say the least. But for him to send me that anti-Muslim propaganda, blew me away. I mean, I never would have expected that from him, of all people. He's always seemed to be uh, very uplifting and very open, and I, I just never thought that he would be one that would be propagating prejudice. And we need to understand that all of the division between people of various religions is propagated by people and perhaps demons that want to drive a wedge between us, so that instead of loving one another, which is the great commandment, we are at enmity with each other. And we're at enmity with each other because we haven't come to peace within ourselves. We can't love others unless we love ourselves. And we're taught that we're sinners, that we're rejects from God, that, that God can't love us because we're defective, we're inferior. God never created anything inferior. He never created us as, a, as defective beings. If you read the books of, the books by, uh, about Anastasia that she's uh, talking about by Vladimir Megra, of course, you'll understand that in the beginning we had communion and fellowship with God and we just, we just naturally loved one another because that was our nature. But our nature became distorted when people who were control freaks started trying to take over. And it might have been uh, an angel called Lucifer, who was the first control freak that says, no, I ain't going to bow down to God. <laughs> Give me a break. I'm just as good as God is. And made himself God, little G-O-D. And started all these religions and, and everything else. And it didn't come from God. Was there truth in them? We would have never bought it if there was no truth to resonate with something in us. So yeah, there's truth in all religions. But there's a distortion in all religions which says, my religion is better than your religion. As I've said in the, in the blurb, I do have friends that are of all the, all the major world religions. I do have friends even that are 
that claim to be atheists because they're so fed up with the bullshit, and that's exactly what it is, of the religious nonsense put forth. It's not that they don't believe in God. They don't believe in religion. They don't believe in religion's gods. Uh, the little, the, the Buddhist god, the Hindu god, the, the Christian god. Give me a break. If God is God, there's only one. There's only one creator. And we're all part of that creation. All of us. It has nothing to do with these things that divide us. Nothing. But we bought into the lie. We were sold a bill of goods and we bought into it and we fight each other over who's right. We're all right and we're all wrong because that's the world that we live in. That's how we've been trained. You'd have to be trained like, uh, like Anastasia was trained, getting your thing straight from source. And when you get stuff straight from source, you don't get the distortion. But when you get it handed down to you through the channels that men have created to separate, you get you get nothing but distortion. And religion is a distortion of truth. It's a distortion of reality. It's a distortion of who we are. We are gods because God begets God. We are begotten children of God. Not created, but begotten. We were born as gods, as little G-O-D-S's, to remember in this world who we are and to come home again. And we've got to stop, folks. We've got to stop fighting each other over belief systems. They are belie systems. They are the belie. Belief is a belie. It belies the truth. It betrays us because it doesn't have much meaning. Now, if you, if you are one of these religions and it's meaningful to you, don't go looking for something else. If it's fulfilling you, fine. But if it's, if, if it's making you act in animosity toward those that have different viewpoints, be careful. I mean, seriously, be careful. Because something is wrong with that picture. Something has been, something is malfunctioning. It's been distorted. And we need to come home to ourselves. But we need to know that God loves us. And we need, when we know, when we know that God loves us, despite all of the deceptions that have been put forth, and that we fought into, that God still loves us. God so loved the world, and he still does. And God is not a he or a she. God is beyond he and she, but we use that in our vernacular. I would like very much, very much, for us to grow up, for us to become mature spiritual beings, it's hard to make that happen when there's so much propaganda, when there's so much distortion put forth in our churches, in our synagogues, in our temples, and on our media, and by our governments. We've got to get beyond that. Hope. We've got to rise above it. And to me, it's going to take a miracle. It's going to take something so big and so powerful to shake us out of our complacency and to help us to see Truth. Folks, please, please learn to love yourself and to love your neighbor as yourself and to give yourself the space to discover and to give them the space to discover and all of us the space to explore. None of us have all the answers right now. If we did, the world would be better. We don't. Only Anastasia and maybe her son, Belusia, of all the people on earth, have not how to deal with the distortion. They've gotten it directly from source. We need to start doing the same thing. Thank you for listening. And